What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode seven of the Slip and Weave podcast. Let's get right into it. fight signed this week I was going to talk about um, Usyk and Chisora getting signed I was going to talk about the rumors that Canelo and Billy Joel were going to fight Billy Joel Billy Joe uh, Billy Joe Saunders were going to fight um, I was going to talk a little bit about you know how Robert Hellenius upset Adam Konoski last week in the Barclays Center but there's really kind of only like one thing to talk about right now, and it's this fucking virus. And it's not like I never when I when I started doing this podcast seven weeks ago, it what definitely was not my intention that uh, this would be the kind of shit that I would be talking about on here. Um, but. It's becoming something that's affecting um, a lot of people's lives and a lot of different aspects of life. Um, And boxing is not excluded from that. And I think for me personally, that became much more obvious last night when the NBA season got suspended. There was something about that that made me realize, you know, that this is this is going to continue happening. That events and and particularly sporting events are going to start getting canceled or shut down or suspended or postponed, or in some cases, as is the case with, uh, you know, the Shakur Stevenson fight at the theater at the Garden this weekend. The fight will go forward, but there's not going to be any spectators. Um. So, it really changes like the whole landscape of the sport and what fights can be made and where. Um, and be- as it, you know, drastically changes certain parts of our lives and how careful we have to be, it also, you know, it changes the sports world. It's everyone's going to have to adjust on some level. And I just, I didn't feel like I, there's anything else that's worth talking about. Um, I wanted to. I wanted to kind of just maybe brush by it and um, keep it literally just about you know boxing and and fighters. But I think this is something that kind of like um, is affecting everybody, and it's affecting boxing now. You know, um, there's a couple of cards in Montreal that have been canceled. There's a fight between Arthur Beterbiev. He's fighting a mandatory against a guy named Fen Long Meng. Um, and that fight's now up in the air, also in Montreal. I've read that Eddie Hearn is still pretty 50 50 on a lot of his cards uh, and that he's open to canceling or rescheduling, you know, as many of those as he needs to and as health officials tell him need to. Um, and that he's willing to give everyone a full refund for any fight that doesn't go forward. And it's 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 a little mind-blowing. It's a little overwhelming. Um, I think maybe, too, it's like I was thinking about this. You know, sports is uh, it's sort of like a, a normal for a lot of people. It's like a neutral ground. It's a place to, um, like, escape a lot of the issues in life and, like, in the world. And, uh, you know, this is something that's starting to affect even that. I think that's where it got really real for me. You know, I, I went to put, I went to put on the basketball game last night and just finding out that that's going to be the last game for, you know, a little while until there's some sort of greater understanding on 
what we're dealing with and what players are sick. Um, there's just a lot that has to get figured out. And there's a lot of new normals that I think are going to set in soon. And I hope anybody that's listening right now is safe and healthy and all that, you know. Um, the only thing that I can think of in a boxing sense to talk about is what is a fight going to be like with no one in the arena? You know, Shakur Stevenson fights Saturday at the Hulu Theater against Miguel Mariaga, who's a pretty pretty good fighter. You know, how is he going to... Yeah, and he's from Newark, so he's a local kid, and he's fighting at the Garden, you know, 15 miles from home. And how will that affect his performance? How will being in front of nobody affect Mariaga's performance where, you know, he's not as worried about being, you know, the away fighter. There's no one booing him. There, there isn't anyone talking to him on his way into the ring. Um, there isn't any, you know, of course, with any big crowd of people, I think there's a lot of anxiety. I think people get performance anxiety with any sort of entertainment and including athletics. So it's going to be interesting to see how the removal of that factor affects fighters, affects the fight, if at all. How it affects the television experience of watching, you know, two guys fight in an empty space. It's not every day that we have that experience of watching a major or semi-major sporting event take place in front of basically nobody. We've never experienced anything like that. It's a completely new and foreign um, entity in sports, you know, working sports around some sort of public health crisis that is not uh, entirely contained. It's not really contained at all, it seems like. It seems like it's only growing. Um, so I really do hate to be a bummer about this, but I don't know. It kind of feels like it's just creeped into every corner of life in the last week. You know, I've... I've personally worked in like the live event industry for years and, uh, you know, there's been some things that have been canceled and it looks like that's only going to continue, you know, that more of those are going to get canceled and, uh, that I and everyone in that industry is going to have to kind of adjust to that. And I don't even really know how that looks yet. You know, I haven't, it's all happening all at once. And I haven't entirely thought it all the way through. Like what is the move, um, as, as events and festivals and concerts and all the places that I would normally work, you know, as all of those gatherings, um, start to shut down. And that seems like the direction it's going, you know, what's the plan. And I think a lot of people are having that thought and in boxing too, you know, the people that work in the arenas, the food vendors, um, all of the various uh, television and promotional staff that would normally work an event, I'm sure those crews will all be a lot smaller now. Um, you know, undercard fights, how do, the, how, do, how do all these guys get paid when the ticket sales are not maybe a, a factor? It's, um, it's a very overwhelming thought, you know. So, I guess, in that sense, that's really all there is to say about that. And, uh, you know, I think we're all just going to have to be really nimble and uh, be open to things just changing a lot at any second. It seems like that's the, the direction this is all headed. So, I had a bunch of other shit to talk about and... Um, maybe at some point I will talk about them, but at this particular moment, um, it doesn't feel like there's anything else worth talking about. I think it's just worth acknowledging that the sports world is going to change as drastically as the rest of the world changes, that the, that the sports world and boxing is not exempt from this crisis and whatever it evolves into. So I would say whatever fights are on TV as a boxing fan right now, you know, support it, watch it. I'm sure, like me, you got some more free time on your hands. So, you know, 
show the fighters some love and uh you know get your eyes on the fights in the next couple of weeks um and you know what there are a lot of good fights that are coming up you know Shakur and Miguel Mariaga I really like watching Shakur Stevenson he's a really talented young guy you know I'm looking forward to that better BF fight I always like watching better BF um, and I honestly have no idea what fights are going to happen where and in front of how many people. So it's a little hard to even like do predictions or do breakdowns of fights when I don't know what's going to happen. And neither do you. So, yeah, I guess that's the episode. Thanks for listening to episode seven of the Slip and Weave podcast, guys. I'll see you next week. Everybody out there, be safe, be healthy, um, look after each other, and I'll be back next week a little more business as usual. Have a good week, everyone.